Step 2. Presentation Renderings In this step, we'll create professional presentation images of the project. First, we will explore the capabilities of the industry-leading Lightworks rendering engine. We will also present some of the main features of the Sketch rendering engine. Activate the first preset view in the Presentation Pictures folder of the Navigator view map. Notice that not only the building, but also its surroundings are visible on the floor plan. Activate the next preset view in the view map to display a 3D view of the project. We will use this 3D view to generate photo rendering presentation images. Select the view, 3D view mode, the 3D window settings menu item to open the 3D window settings dialog. Switch off the Keep Proportions radio button. Enter 640 pixels for the width and 480 pixels for the height to the Window Size and Pixels fields. Finally, click OK to apply the changes and leave this dialog. Notice that the size of the 3D window has changed. Select the Document, Creative Imaging, Photo Rendering Settings menu item to display the Photo Rendering Settings dialog. At the top, you can select the rendering engine to be used to generate a presentation image. Each rendering engine has different capabilities. Let's start to explore and compare the advanced feature set of the Lightworks rendering engine. Click the Cancel button to leave this dialog. Each upcoming photo rendering preset view will have a new feature activated. All these views are prepared in advance. Double-click to activate the 9.2.3 photo rendering preset view in the view map. This will generate a simple, rather flat-looking image. In this first photo rendering, very few features are turned on. Also, the image is dark. Let us add some light to the scene. Activate the next photo rendering preset view in the view map. In this image, we've enabled ambient light. This means that the Lightworks rendering engine simulates the light that exists in the environment as ambient light. The scene is now light enough to look like a day shot. However, look at the long horizontal heads of window assemblies on the right. Their appearance is very jagged. No anti-aliasing were applied during the rendering of this image. Activate the next photo rendering preset view in the view map. On this image, anti-aliasing has been set to the highest value, resulting in clearly visible improvement in the quality of the aforementioned lines. The quality of textures has also improved as a result of the setting. Notice that the texture surface patterns are continuous, and you do not notice any repetitions in them. This is due to the procedural shaders, which uses mathematical formulas to create unique texture pattern for greater realism, instead of multiplying a modular texture tile. Activate the next photo rendering preset view in the view map to add some transparency to the image. Naturally, the more advanced rendering options are enabled, the more rendering time is necessary to create the presentation images. Transparency enables us to see inside of the building. Activate the next photo rendering preset view in the view map to add reflections to the image. Displaying reflections can give the image quality another boost. Here we have very nice reflections of the building and the water in the front, along with reflections of the environment, a cloudy sky, and other parts of the building in the window panes. This can give the most dramatic improvement to the quality of the image. Select the document, Creative Imaging, Photo Rendering Settings menu item to display the Photo Rendering Settings dialog once again. Select the Sketch Rendering Engine from the pop-up list. The Sketch Rendering Engine offers a completely different look for the presentation images. In the Basic Settings panel, you can see that there are sketch styles you can select. The style defines the base color of the sketch, whether shadows or 3D hatching will be generated by it, 
plus how the sketch lines, shadow lines, and hatch lines should be generated. There are various other settings as well. Let's see a couple of examples for the available sketch styles. Click OK to leave the dialog. Here we also prepared a few pre-saved views, but you can explore unlimited variations by changing the settings yourself. Activate the 9.2.8 Sketch Rendering Preset view from the view map. The first style is light gray. It is unique in that its lines greatly extend the intersection points with other lines at corners, and so on. Activate the next Sketch Rendering Preset view. This is a much simpler style without shadows and 3D hatches. Activate the next Sketch Rendering Preset view. This is yet another sketch style created using very nice lines, shadows, and hatches. Activate the next Sketch Rendering Preset view. The last sketch style is the one we are going to use to create a couple of renderings of our project. Let us see another view rendered with this sketch style. Activate the last Sketch Rendering Preset view to display a sketch rendered presentation image of the entrance of the building. The Sketch Rendering Engine is a good tool to be used in the early design stages to provide some idea of the design to clients without the requirement of complete realism. You can find all the saved render views in the Architectural Lightworks Rendering and Architectural Sketch Rendering folders within the view map of the Navigator. You can generate them anytime you like. This concludes Chapter 9.